Hola y bienvenidos a Serve Logmore Baja Fresh Mexican Grill. Welcome to the Baja Fresh Customer Satisfaction Survey at Baja Fresh. It is our mission to provide each customer with the highest level of satisfaction. We thank you in advance for sharing your honest feedback on this brief customer survey. Please find the store number located on your receipt, which I have already done. Store number 572, located on College Avenue in Arizona State University campus. I had uh, an ultimate, uh, I'm sorry, I had a burrito ultimo, carnitas, and a regular soda. Next. Dun, dun, dun. Please enter the date of your visit. Another day. It has been quite some time. All right. What day did I actually visit? I visited your store on... December 1st so it's been a little while okay next when did you dine with us I dined between 5 and 8 p.m. and I did dine in the restaurant I know it was between 5 and 8 p.m. because I had just gotten off my rotation which ends at either 5 or 6 p.m. and I know I dined in because I was did I take the bus that day I think I drove my car that day actually but um, there's free Wi-Fi so I stayed in the restaurant and did some uh, crosswords or something. How often do you visit Baja Fresh in the course of a month? One to two times. Considering the volume of customers, were you greeted promptly? Yes, considering I was the only person in the store and the guy was standing behind the counter and said hello right when I walked in. It was very prompt. The very first time I went in there, actually, everybody was in the back. It was at lunchtime. It was 1 o'clock in the afternoon. There was nobody in the restaurant, and everybody uh, that worked there was in the back. That was the first time I went there. But they came out uh, and helped me quite promptly. I was very surprised, actually, that at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, the subway, which is right across the street from this, there's always a line when I go there. And then, like, at Porta Subs, the restaurant's always full, and there might be one person ahead of me in line. Um, there's a Smash Burger, which is... Um, I've only ever eaten there once, but nobody was in front of me, but there were a couple people in the restaurant. There's a Panda Express that always has a line. And then there's Baja Fresh Express, where there's never anybody. <laughs> I'm always the only one in there. Okay, well, actually, I can't say I was the only one in there. Um, while I was eating on this particular occasion, someone came in after me and ordered a to-go burrito or something. All right, what item did you order? I ordered a burrito. The burrito ultimo. Nope. Oh, I hate it when... I hate this. You look at this. These uh, choices, these radial buttons, uh, radio buttons, they extend all the way across the screen. Because, I mean, I'm like all the way over here and I can change my answer to taco or burrito. I hate that. These buttons should just be buttons. They shouldn't be able to change all the way over here. All right. From the time you placed your order, oh, it took less than five minutes. They cooked that burrito. Apparently, from what I saw, they have like a little fridge, and in that fridge, they have the vegetables or other ingredients like already parceled out in these little trays. And so then the guy just like took one of those trays out of the fridge, dumped it on the grill, grabbed the meat out of another tray, dumped it on the grill, fried it all up real quick, stuck it in a burrito. It was the burritos there are huge, heavy, like really heavy, and uh. Excellent. Yes, I did receive my order exactly as specified. It's very hard to mess up one burrito and a drink. Next. Please rate your overall satisfaction. I had excellent satisfaction. The food was excellent. The cleanliness, the restaurant's very clean, probably because there's no one ever in there. Uh, the service I got was good. And um, rate the menu knowledge of your server. I ordered a burrito. That, that was pretty, uh, pretty excellent knowledge that they had there. I should mention, I went to what's called a Baja Fresh Express. I've never been to a real Baja Fresh. I've only ever been to a Baja Fresh Express. There was one at the convention center in Anaheim. Uh, if you go back and look at my uh, video from Travelogmore Anaheim, um, I, I have a picture in there somewhere of like a, a shrimp salad that I got at this Baja Fresh Express in Anaheim. They do not have the shrimp uh, dishes at the Baja Fresh Express at ASU. Um, which kind of upset me because I really wanted that shrimp salad again, but it was still good. Um, so I don't actually know what the difference is between an express and a full restaurant considering, you know, they had a, well, the one, the one express had a bigger menu than the other express. The friendliness of the staff, they were fine. Speed of service was excellent. Got mine real quick. Next.
Compared to other restaurants where you dine, how would you rate the overall value of the price you paid on your most recent visit? Oh, I, it's really, if you feel, okay, the burrito's like six to seven dollars, the burrito ultimo that I get. And I get the burrito ultimo because it comes with like uh, green peppers and onions and like a fajita kind of style. And I like that. Um, it's what I get when I go to Chipotle. I get the fajita burrito, which I don't think they advertise on their menu anymore. Back in the day, you used to go in and they would have their menu set up. So you would pick the type of thing you wanted. This is Chipotle. You know, did you want a burrito? Did you want tacos? Did you want a burrito bowl? So you'd pick that. Then it would tell you to pick the uh, the style you wanted. And there was like regular, which came with, you know, rice and black beans or rice and pinto beans. And then they had listed on the menu fajita burrito, which was green peppers and onions. Now they don't have that section anymore. They just ask you, like, if you go in there and you order a burrito, they're going to ask you, do you want black beans or pinto beans? They don't even tell you that they have the fajita option, or at least the chipotle that I've been eating at in Erie would never mention that. But anyway, that's off the topic here. Um, if you could feel how heavy this burrito is, this is a heavy burrito. You are getting a lot of food. I barely finished this burrito. <laughs> the, the burrito comes with chips and salsa too, and that's like, that's a pain. I can't even eat the chips after I'm done with the burrito. And I kind of have to force myself to finish the burrito. So there's a lot of food for the money you pay. Um, I would say, see, a Chipotle burrito costs about the same amount. I would say that a Chipotle burrito tastes better. Um, and that's partly because it's the one that you get from Baja Fresh Express. I don't know exactly how they're cooking the tortilla. The tortilla is crispy, um, but it also has a sort of chimichanga-ish feel. I think there's it's more lard in the actual tortilla. I think it's a fattier tortilla. Um, and that I don't like as much. The outside, it doesn't feel like it's deep fried like a chimichanga is, but it still has that kind of oily uh, feel to it. Maybe just to me. I don't even know. Anyway, I would say a Chipotle burrito tastes a little bit better. Um, but also notice Chipotle, despite all of their organic food and all their local farm vegetables and all that, they're absolutely terrible for you. Do not think that Chipotle is a health food just because they talk about how it's organic and locally sourced and fresh vegetables. It is not. It's like a thousand calorie burrito. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm sure Baja Fresh is not very good for you either. But anyway, uh, given how I pay like 10 bucks and I get a burrito that almost kills me uh, with how big it is. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Based on your last experience, how likely are you to visit Baja Fresh again? I will definitely visit it one more time um but i don't i don't live by a baja fresh and i don't see myself traveling out to tempe just to get a burrito um if there's a baja fresh where i am i know what they're like i like them i'll go ahead and get it based on your last experience how likely are you, are you to recommend baja fresh i would tell people yes if you are by a baja fresh go ahead and get yourself a burrito i've only ever had their burrito ultimo um at this location and then i've had their uh shrimp salad at another and I recommend both highly they were excellent both times would you like to recognize our team for their exceptional service please take a moment to tell us uh, about how our team made a difference on your visit I'm always kind of troubled by this one um, sometimes it counts there are weird grading systems for example uh, my friend Doc he was do talk he did a he has a blog or at least he had a blog now apparently it's offline you can't access it anymore and uh, he had written a post a while back, and I believe it was about eBay, uh, where on eBay, if you don't give someone five stars, that's a bad rating. Four stars is bad. They don't, uh, five stars is the only thing that counts. And actually, when I went into a dealer, this was a Chevy dealer, um, to have, uh, there was a recall on like the brake lights on my truck. And so I just needed to go to a Chevy dealer, and they would replace them for free. And where I went was awesome, and they they helped me out right away. I was in Erie at the time, and the re recall was only on uh, trucks sold in the West. And so they're like, you know, this is only for the West. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm from Arizona. This is where this truck came from. But when they give you the survey, um, even the dealers here, that my because my the truck that I drive is actually my mom's truck, and she, uh, she gave it to me when I went to Erie. But anyway, she had the de she bought it from the dealer. It had the dealer's warranty. They'd go into the dealer all the time for free oil changes and stuff. And they tell you when they give you this little, they're going to send you a satisfaction survey. 
And the only score that counts is five stars. Anything less than five stars is like an F. If you get four stars, you failed. That's the way that Chevy, uh, like the corporate Chevy structure works. Anything less than five stars is a failing grade, which is retarded. Um, I hate that. I don't like it when you give me a five-star rating system and then make it a binary rating system. One score is pass. Anything other than that is fail. That's, that's stupid. Because um, there's nuances to things. I think there should be nuances to things. You see it all the time in my serve logmores where I'm stuck between two answers sometimes on a rating scale and I want to give it like a 4.5. But... Anyway, so the point of that is sometimes when it comes to these, they want comments. And if there's not a comment on it, then they don't treat it as good. Uh, if you have a, you know, good scores and then there's a comment saying nice things, then that, that counts. And if you have a good scores on the survey, but they didn't leave a comment, sometimes that doesn't count. No one cares. Um, we see that at the pharmacy where I work with, uh, not exactly like that, but customers on the back of our receipts or whatever the bottom of the receipt it has a little survey that they can call on the phone or they can go online and fill it out and then we get the comments they print out for us so we see uh, anybody who leaves a comment about the pharmacy we see their comments there's no identifying information it's literally just a line and then another line it doesn't tell us the date it was left or anything we only know that it happened between blank and blank um, you know, blank date and blank date. That's it. So we can't, like, you know, track down the people leaving us bad comments or something. But if you just, you know, fill out the numbers, we never see that. So that's what I'm thinking about here. Comments are the only thing that makes it through. And actually, most of the time, almost every time, uh, the comments that come through are excellent for our pharmacy. We occasionally have, like, one person who's upset about something, but it's something stupid, like we were out of stock on something. Um, we're the pharmacy. We don't stock that stuff outside the pharmacy. That's not our job. But, you know, go ahead and complain about it on our comment section. Um, anyway. All right. Do I want to leave a comment? Yeah, I'll leave a comment. Why not? I'm just going to say fast. I'm typing with one hand because I'm holding my microphone in the other. Friendly. Excellent. Oop, oop, oop service and I actually mean that in this case the first time I went in there like I said everybody was in the back and I had to wait for someone to come out to actually help me the guy this time was standing at the counter even though there was nobody in the store he was standing there waiting for someone to come in he said hi right when I came in took my order immediately uh, got there was a second guy as soon as I took my order he told the guy and the guy started cooking it before I'd even paid and uh, I barely had time to fill up my drink and sit down when the guy, you know, had my food ready. And I think I was sitting right by where they, there's a little space uh, where they like put the food for you to pick up and then they call out for you. I'm betting that if I wasn't sitting right there, if I was sitting on like the other side of the store, he would have brought it to me. He just gave me that kind of impression that he would have done that. So yes. Uh, no, I don't like getting emails. Thanks for your feedback. We have just a few more questions regarding, you know, very personal things. <laughs> the few are for classification purposes only. I am male. I am 25 to 34. My household income is none of your business. And my household size... I'm technically in a house with three people right now. Okay, so we'll count into that. And then I'll click next. And then you're going to give me a discount coupon. Sweet. Unfortunately, you guys will not be able to use this code because... You know, this is my code, and it will be used by the time this video goes up, so it's not going to work for you. Until next time, however, bye-bye.